I think the last thing we have to do is a, a bit of depth of field. So we're going to select the camera and we're going to go to perspective view. And we're going to just turn around a little bit and <laughs> zoom in. We, we, we want to set up the focal length so it's right in focus on our eyes. Unless you're doing some sort of arty render where you'd be in focus on the hand with the out of focus figure in the background, you kind of really need to, I believe, set it up from the eyes. I, I totally so, agree. Yeah, I, I do that. And so, it makes such yeah. a difference, even if it's super subtle, go for depth of field. Yeah, Literally yeah. every shot should have it, especially also HDRIs where the background might be just as in focus as the camera. In real life, it wouldn't be like that, really. It would and be, it can, it can just, look too, too busy as it, well. Yes, you know? too, exactly. So this is one of the things that, that's really nice is that it'll separate the character from the background by making the viewer see this is in focus, this is, even if it's subtle, this is out of focus, the, the eye knows important here, not so important here. Makes it's part mm. of the composition, but mm. wh where does the eye wander first? It has to be what you want to emphasize, and that's that's going to be the character. Where the figure, I think, the viewer's eye goes to the eyes, first of all, you know? Yeah. De definitely to the face. Anyway, we we'll switch depth of field on, and I'm sure most people know how to do this, but in case there's somebody or some, some who don't, uh, you get this bounding box. Uh, around the figure and you can't see it at the moment I'll pull it out so as you can there's a green marker green and red marker uh, if you see where my mouse is it's just here oh green, yes, red, yes, yes. Blue, <laughs> blue actually so that's what we're attempting to line up line up with the eyes now obviously it's very difficult to know if it's lined up with the eyes exactly but I would say that's pretty close we're not going to be using a very heavy amount of depth of field there. That's about right. But when we switch back to the camera view, it should be, it'll actually be too much depth of field. Yes. There we so go. We're, That's that effect, yeah. we're at F22 at the moment. So let's try F, let's try 44 double A. And it's better. It's getting there. <laughs> 66. That's nice. That's nice. So let's just position her a little bit more. So that would be the final. I haven't even saved this. Um, oh, Camilla forest. says if you go into display focal point scale, you can make the red line a little bit bigger if we ever needed to do that. Oh, if nice. you go where, sorry? Yeah, she reckons display focal point scale. Display. Dis display, display focal point scale. There we go. It says it's 100%. Let's crank that up a bit and see what happens. Where, where's that, Jack? This one, where, just where your cursor is right now, focal point scale. Oh, focal point scale, right. That is interesting. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, I see that. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Yeah, because the problem is it, it could be too short. Yeah, and it's also sometimes it's not in the right place. If you, the eyes yeah, are here, yeah, the, the little yeah, eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. I never yeah, knew that. It's... I wonder if you can take the limits off and make it yes. even bigger. Do you know this uh, would then, oh, this would be great. Exactly make it like 2,000% or so. I don't think it's going bigger. No, no. It must be locked internally or something. Mm. Do you yeah. know, Unreal Engine has this concept with the plane. So rather than just a line, they draw a whole plane. And you can that see that from easier. any yeah, angle yeah. and you can literally just focus yeah. that. Yeah, even if it was a transparent plane mm -hmm. or something. Yeah, that, that would be really handy. Ooh, thank you, Camilla. Uh, 